Well, hello, hello, General Hospital Daily Recap fans. Today's Daily Recap is for Monday, May the 6th, 2024. Monday, May the 6th. Well, let's see. The good stuff is we finish up with Alexis and Christina's conversation. And <clears throat> Alexis, Christina's like, you know, TJ accuses me not caring, or Molly and TJ accuse me of not caring enough for the baby, and you are accusing me of caring too much because a slip of the tongue of me saying my, my baby. It's kind of like shorthand. You know, this, this baby, this bean is growing inside of me. It's <clears throat> making me pee all day long and want to eat all the time and hormonal. So, so what if I, you know, Give give it not give it a name, but you know, say my, it's in my body, and so Alexis goes. Well, I could see where you'd want some shorthand. I mean, it was funny. She's like noted, and she just completely tried to stay <clears throat> neutral, but she just told her, you know, bottom line, <clears throat> you not understanding that there's an issue growing. That's an issue in itself. But I will back off allergy issues today. Goodness, I'm not even going to be able to do comment corner. I'm trying to get through this. Um, <clears throat> so she's like, I'm going to back off. And, you know, I'm here for you. Just like I'm here for Molly and TJ. You know, they're nervous. They're just expecting the rug to be pulled out from under them. You've given them a gift. <clears throat> you know, you're doing a wonderful thing excuse me, everybody, a wonderful thing. And, you know, I'm here for you. I am here for you. So they had a real good mother-daughter thing. And I was happy, <clears throat> proud of Alexis. Well, now, Sonny, he's still going on about Carly. Carly, Carly, how dare she? Carly this, Carly that. And Abel was like, yeah, she was way out of line, just over bit. Because he goes, you know what? I'm just going to go. Because she does know me, you know, know this situation more better than most. So I'm going to go to the hospital and have them draw my blood so I could throw it in her face. So Ava says, well, if you are going to let Carly dictate how you take your meds and, and everything, I think you should go to the hospital. She completely undermined his thinking. If you're going to let Carly dictate, if you're going to have to get <clears throat> Carly's approval on taking your meds or not, then you know what? You should go. And he goes, I'm not going to that. Other. <laughs> Ava knew exactly what was happening, but he's getting worse. And see, here's the thing. Ava sees it, which is why she's actually, <clears throat> she's talking to him. She is kind of, more in a submissive position, stance, just, and I'm thinking, okay, yeah, you're like, you lit this powder cake, or now you're allowing the situation to turn into a powder cake. All Ava's fault, 100%. Because here's the thing. This was her way out <clears throat> of being accused of anything. Had she said, Sonny, you know what? I think Carly's right. I don't know much about, you know, the bipolar thing like she does. But let's go to the hospital. You didn't want to go with her. But come to the hospital with me. Okay. And let's see. He would have went. And you want to know, the doctors would have found out, oh no, these pills have been tampered with. He wouldn't have thought it was Ava because she would have been the one pushing him <clears throat> to go to the hospital, right? She could sit there and be just as shocked as the next of them that these pills are not up to speed. That was her way out. She didn't take it. Like as she, Nicholas says, you're playing with fire. And she's like, I got everything under control. So you know what? So be it. When it all comes boiling down. So Sonny's like, I got to get out of here. 
And she's like, well, let me come with you. He goes, no, I need time alone. I need time to clear my head. Well, Allie was at the park with Blaze and that ends up a powder cake. Now they introduced Blaze as an older brother that was an accomplished drummer, a professional, but walked away from the music business because, okay, Natalia was his manager too. <clears throat> and she felt she knew what was best for him, like, like Blaze, like Allie. And Allie says, yeah, you see how well that went for you? Because she was saying, the drums are all wrong on the track. Am I the only one that hears you? And she goes, uh, then we can redo them. No, the drummer has to go. And so Allie says, oh, no, I see exactly where this is going. You want, I think his name is Jimmy. Oh, it always comes back to him. And she goes, what are you talking about? And <clears throat> she goes, I... <clears throat> I was wondering when you were going to bring my brother into this. She goes, he's not in the music business because he walked away. And he walked away for his own reasons. Yeah, but I know my son better than he knows himself. Same thing she says about Blaze. You know, music is in his soul. She says, then he would be doing it. But he's not. She said, you want him to be the headliner. And you want me pretty much to be back up to him. She goes, this is my career. I stayed in music because I wanted to. I'm here. He's not. She goes, it always comes back to him. And so Blaze ends up blowing up and, and walking out. And Sonny walks up. And first it startles Natalia because she hears somebody walking up. She's got these bags. She's got her purse. And she's sitting on this bench alone. And he goes, I'm sorry I startled you. And she looked at him. She goes, oh. He goes, your be your belongings are. He goes, your per your belongings are safe with me. He goes, I don't think anything you have in there would fit me. And so she looked at him. She goes, not that you need anything. I've seen the, the way you dress. You're such a nice dresser, right? So they sit down and talk, and he's uh, ends up talking about Carly. Tells her Natalia she's bipolar and. You know, Carly feels that he's not taking his meds and he is. He says, although to her defense, she is the one who was with me and insisted that I, I you know, seek medical help. And she was instrumental in me getting diagnosed and me getting on <clears throat> the medication. And, you know, she's gone through her ups and downs with me. So she is usually spot on. He goes, but I'm taking my meds. She is way off base. She's doing this for other reasons. And no, oh, he's just going on and on. And <clears throat> Natalia just looks at him and says, wow, you know, you shared, openly shared with me. I'm surprised and, and, and honored that you could share with me. And so he goes, you know what? <sighs> this bench is just a bench. Would you like to go and have a drink with me? And she says, yes, I would. So they come back to his place. I'm thinking he's going to take her to Charlie's <clears throat> or the Metricord. Well, not the Metricord. He don't want to see Carly. Ava looks and she goes, oh, where'd you go? Oh, I went to the park where I met Natalia. And he ignores Ava and asks her, hey, would you like a very expensive uh, malt, whatever, right? And she goes, whoa, okay. And he goes, Ava, can you pour us a drink? Pour us a drink. And Ava kind of looks like, I'm not the maid. But she gets it, you know, gives them their drink. And they're sitting, Natalia's standing outside the terrace. Sonny's in the doorframe. And Ava walks up with her drink. And she nuzzles, like, right, right up under Sonny. And Sonny's talking to Natalia, but he feels Ava. So he kind of looks down and then he looks at Ava and he looks at Natalia and he goes, can you excuse me? She goes, oh, she walks away. He looks at Ava and he goes, don't you have to make some calls for the gallery? You know, like, hey, I got a girl here. Scram. Right? It was funny. Ava had egg in her face. She goes, oh, well, I, I guess I can. He goes, yeah. 
So anyway, she's she's asking, how long have you been here? And oh, he's been here since the 90s and blah. She goes, this place looks so modern. He goes, I will redecorate redecorate from time to time. I'm getting ready to do it again. And I would love your opinion. She goes, what, me? And she goes, well, what about, you know, Ava? And he goes, Ava? Oh, uh-uh. He goes, things are not like that with me and Ava. And she goes, oh. Well, okay. And she's sipping on her drink. And Ava, of course, is listening around the corner. And she looks like, oh, no, I'm going to get rid of her. <laughs> and it was so, I was so happy. 100% happy. Egg in your face, Ava. Egg in your face. So now we have Dante and Sam talking. And, you know, he's just talking about how he hasn't been able to truly be impartial where Sonny's concerned. And he really feels it's going to come to a head. And he does not want to compromise his badge. He was, does not want to compromise the job. So he feels like it's time, you know, to end it. And in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, you're going to put distance between you and Sonny and in that relationship there, right? Let him know, dad, this is not, uh, -uh right? So Sam's like, oh, you don't know how many nights I've stayed awake hoping you would come to this decision that you were giving up your badge. I worry about you. And Dante's looking at her. And he goes, well, we should have had this conversation months and months and months ago, right? And she goes, I know, but you know what? This is your career. This is your life. So I'm going to support you no matter what you do. But if you say you're hanging up your badge, I'm not even going to pretend not to be happy. That would make me so happy. So he hugs her and I thought he was going to say, you misunderstand. I mean, but no, he didn't. He walks into Anna's office and she goes, hey, Dante, you know, and he takes his paper out of his uh, blazer and she goes, oh, is this a report you want to turn into me? And I'm thinking, fold it in like that. You know, no, Anna. Right. And so he goes, this is my reg resignation. And he says, I got to turn in my badge. He takes his badge and he puts it down. She goes, wait, what is this all about? So he's telling her that he really feels that things may come to a head and he feels he has not been impartial where his father was concerned. He says, when Dex joined the force, he goes, one of the first thoughts out of my mind is, what is he going to say? That could incriminate my father. He says, I'm a detective. That should not be my concern. Upholding the law should be my concern. So since I'm compromised, I need to turn my badge in. So you know Anna, which Anna's got an agenda. Anna's got an agenda. No, oh no, she talked him out of that. She's like, look. Over the years, because of how Sonny was there for Robin, Anna says, I didn't go, you know, like full force at him. She goes, I kind of went easy. She goes, but that's gone. That's done. That's done. She says, and I'm going to tell you, and she made a point here. She says, that badge is your protection. She said, did Sonny ask you to give up, give him information that you know would compromise a case that you know, you know, you're, you're legally bound to keep, you know, certain things confidential. Did he ask you? He goes, no, he didn't. But he was just saying he knew he could depend on me to have my back. He goes, I feel it might be coming. And she says, okay, and if it is, if it does come, she goes, I feel he's going to say, what did Dex say? She goes, as if you would be privy to know what Dex would say. But if you did know, would you tell Dante what Dex says? He says, no, absolutely not. She says, exactly. He goes, but then I would feel like I'm betraying my father. She goes, you're not betraying your father. You're upholding the law which happens to be your job. And she goes, and your father knows it's your job. 
She goes, but here, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to make sure that you won't know anything about what Dex Heller is saying or not saying. Any case or information or report that comes in regarding your father, I'm going to do my best to make sure you do not see it. She says, and here's what I need you to do. If something accidentally falls on your desk and you see it has your father's name on it, she says, do not read it. Do not open it. You bring it to me and let me reassign it. She goes, that's the workaround. And she goes, Dante, your badge is your protection from your father because he knows you're a cop. She says, without the badge, there will be nothing stopping him from pulling you into his world even more. And I thought, okay, now that's the first thing Anna has ever made sense on. And she's 100% right. 100% right. Because let's face it, when Dante infiltrated Sonny's organization years ago, Dante knew everything and he still does. He just never, never gave all the information on all the safe house. He never did. But he was a good lieutenant for Sonny. So yeah, that is his protection. So that's it, everybody. Uh, that's it. Uh, thank goodness I made it through. My voice got a little bit uh, better. I, I still, I'm not going to push it with Comment Corner. 60 comments, everybody. 60. <clears throat> Excellent job. You guys were back and forth, back and forth. I love it. I love it. Keep it up. Um. For those of you on TikTok, our comment corner here on YouTube, uh, the Daily Recap fans, they comment on it. They talk to each other. It is phenomenal, the conversations that we have amongst each other on comment corner. So if you're on TikTok, TikTok or Instagram, check out my YouTube channel. You will see exactly how interactive it is. All right, I'll be back tomorrow with another daily recap of General Hospital. And I guess I should tell you my YouTube channel name is GH Spoilers uh, dash YNR Today. And I will put it in the description bar for you. Have a great day.